Hey guys, Mike Les here, and I am in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan at the Egg in Motion show. So today I'm uh, going to be here at the Versatile booth, and I'm going to walk around some and check out the show, see different types of equipment. And also, Versatile is, this is the first official launch of the new Nemesis tractor. we got two of them here, the one behind me, we've got another one over there with a the loader on it, so we'll check them out. Okay, let's start off taking a walk around the Versatile booth here. Got a new Versatile Fury and a Delta track, of course. And we're going to walk over, check out the new Nemesis tractor. Uh, of course, we share the booth here with Farm King because uh, both belong to the same company, part of Bueller, so uh, two different divisions. But anyways, look at that new Versatile Nemesis. This is a 195 with the loader on it. Is that not a good-looking tractor or what? I am pretty excited about these. I cannot wait to get these out in the field and get to run them, try them out and stuff. They're just a good-looking tractor, good fit and finish. All around, I like everything about them. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever been to a farm show in Canada. In fact, the more I think about it, I know that's the truth. So, anyways, uh, different types of equipment up here. The primary crops I see up here, of course, are spring wheat, uh, canola, lots of canola up here. They talk about some flax. You do see some soybeans, uh, field peas, and a little bit of corn. Uh, I don't know if it's for grain or for silage, but anyways, definitely neat up here. Wide open plains and so forth. Seen a lot of neat equipment. Driving from Winnipeg up to here, a lot of pull type combines, not in use necessarily, but sitting out in the field. Just a lot of neat stuff that I don't normally get to see at home. The other thing up here you see a lot of is these pickup headers on the combine. So anyways, this is going to be a pretty interesting farm show just to walk around, check out the different types of equipment. The other thing I notice here is they're all their four-wheel drive tractors, uh, every company. They really weight these things down. So I guess primarily up here, these big four-wheel drives are used to pull... Um, air seeders so uh big heavy wide so they got the full weight packages on all these don't hold me to this but i think somebody told me this is like the fifth or sixth year for this show up here in saskatoon there's also a farm progress show in regina that is in june and it's partially uh, indoor and outdoor, but I'm told this show's kind of taken over because this is a full outdoor show with field demos and everything. So anyways, we're going to take a walk around and check it all out. So let's go over and check out this Versatile 295 hooked to this Farm King oh, okay. auger, which is a 104 foot long auger that is a 16 inch tube. And they're going to demonstrate the power swing away auger here. I don't know if that's the right term for it or not. Don't know what we trademark it. I don't work on the Farm King side. But anyways, they're going to give us... Uh, little preview here of how this thing works. Nice. Well, there you go. They call it a teleswing. And let's finish up here on the Versatile lot. Let's not forget about the Versatile SX280 sprayer. Uh, it's got the doles on it. It looks pretty sharp. But let's head out and see what's going to be in the field demo area. They are going to run air seeders at 2 o'clock, so I'll be back at 2 o'clock. But here's a little preview. So I have not been to Saskatoon since 1998 when I worked for Gale and there was a campaign on some swing frame disc mower conditioners. Flew into Saskatoon, a co-worker and I did, and we traveled 
about here but uh, anyways it was long enough ago i didn't remember anything everything looked different but uh, anyways just torn around the show here looks like the deers and the case ihs and stuff for doing this show more on a dealer level than a corporate level but uh, like i said it's a pretty new show here so uh, anyways just walking around it was overall it was pretty nice and uh, check out some test plots here see what they grow in canada okay and since i'm in saskatchewan in saskatoon I'm sure a lot of you have seen the movie Grown Ups, the part when uh, they all go to the water park and the girls are laying out and the guys are doing the water slides and so forth and the girls are looking at this guy over there posing, showing off his muscles and he comes over and talks to him and says he's from up there in Canada, up there in Saskatchewan. So anyways, uh, since all my co-workers up here were Canadians, I mentioned that part of the movie and everyone's like, oh yeah, they remembered that. Well, I kept referring to everything as Saskatchewan the whole time I was here and... I said it so much that I actually had some people I work with that know better saying it accidentally. So anyways, I succeeded there. But uh, anyways, that was just my random thought of the day. And we'll go over and check out Kubota of Canada. They had this nice rig here. Went inside the truck here to check out their display. And I had some camera difficulties and I guess I missed part of it. But anyways, it was pretty neat. You can check it out at the next show. And they also had these demonstrations here. They had cattle and sheep here, and they were teaching people or showing you uh, dogs for driving or moving cattle and so forth. So uh, I didn't get to watch it. I seen a little bit of it from a distance. But uh, anyways, overall, I uh, had a little bit of everything at this show. But apparently these guys here were a little bit camera shy. Nobody seemed overly friendly and wanted to come right up to the camera. They also had mixer feeder demos here, so everybody had theirs lined up, and they had some silage grain and so forth, dropped in round bales of hay, I think, and everybody had to mix their load up, and I think they had five minutes to mix it, and then they had to dump it down on the, out on the ground, so everyone could come by and check out the samples. Did see a lot of combines up here, as you will see, and a lot of Lexions. Stopped at a group of dealers in North Battleford, Saskatchewan, and everybody was loaded up, but I don't believe I've ever seen that many Lexion combines in one location, uh, as well as all the dealers. And what do you think of that attachment right there? You're not going to see one of those in the Midwest. And here is something really interesting at the show. I don't know much about it, but I did look it up and read about it a little bit. DOT, or I guess it's called the DOT. It's a form of an autonomous tractor. And they had two of them here, and they had the sprayer. They have a, a drill or an air seeder. And then they also had a dry fertilizer box. So this can drive in, attach an implement or uh, to it, and then it goes out and drives autonomously. So they were doing the demos here. It was pretty neat. Um, other than that, I don't know much about it, don't know where they're made, but you can definitely Google it. Just type in Dot Autonomous Tractor and plenty of stuff will come up. You can read all about it. And I'll walk over here and check out the Seedmaster display. Again, this is all stuff that we just don't see in the Midwest. These big hoe drills or air drills, air seeders, these things are enormous. Uh, I guess they have them in the Dakotas and Montana and so forth, probably other places. But again, very neat to see all this stuff because we don't see it at home. 
Good, yeah. It's a bad a hell of an idea. Works pretty good. Yeah, it looks like it does. <laughs> And Burgo, obviously an air seeder company, makes some tillage equipment so forth. It just looks like big, heavy equipment. So I did walk through here. They was also giving out free ice cream sandwiches inside their tent. There is a 164 toy of that air drill in the cart, and I definitely need to add that to my collection. Uh, there's very few left. I only found one on eBay, and it was over $300, but it was a very nice toy. But I heard they're making another run of them this fall or something, so I'm just going to hold out. I mean, just look at the size of this cart. These things are just uh, amazing how big they are. I love it. And then past the cart, this always makes me laugh. Uh, it's a big chisel plow. It looks a lot like a field cultivator, but if you look at the shanks and so forth, they are a field cultivator. Not that there, but this one right here. Yeah. So anyways, I got to tell this little story. I have a video on my YouTube channel. It'll be Versatile 75 point, a 64 foot chisel plow. And I get ripped all the time on that, that I don't know what I'm talking about, that it's a field cultivator. But this is a Wheatland chisel plow here. You can look at the shanks and stuff and see that they are heavier than a field cultivator. They usually put a straight point on these. But it is a chisel plow. You Right there, chisel plow. You only see that in the Wheatland country. But if you got some time and you want to do some reading and go back and watch a video of mine from like three years ago, just type in Versatile 575 point a 64 foot chisel plow in Texas and go down and read the comments and you can see all the people that tell me how stupid I am. But it looks like some pretty awesome equipment here and they were giving out the ice cream sandwiches and uh, everything. Had a very nice brochure. I got a brochure of their product guide so uh, got to read that when I got back to the hotel that night. Here's a new tillage tool. On the way out here, a co-worker and I stopped at a dealer. We saw one of these on the dealer's yard and checked it all out. But uh, anyways, uh, different type of tillage tool what we're used to seeing. I don't know if this is brand new for Bergo or not. But uh, anyways, there's a look at it. But I mean, just look at this. All these Canadian air drills, they're the same colors as a Versatile. It just looks like a perfect match to me. Oh, yeah. All I can say is it looks to me like I need to plan a springtime trip in Western yeah. Canada and catch this stuff out in the field to make some pretty good YouTube videos. I'm sure I could find a lot of these uh, with a Versatile in front of them. bushel then it says 980 on it so And of course the Fen Ideal Combine, I'm seeing more and more of these show up. I uh, see a lot of them on Interstate 74, Interstate 70. I don't know if these come across the ocean, go to Baltimore, whatnot, but I do see them on semi-trailers heading west. So I'm guessing they're starting to sell a couple of these and maybe this fall we'll see some out running.
And this is going to be the last of the equipment I film inside here in the display area. I'm going to head out to the field demos because it's about 2 o'clock. And I need to get out there and see these air drills run. And for lunch today, one of my co-workers that lives close by here made some homemade pulled pork and coleslaw and so forth. Brought it into the versatile display and that's what we had for lunch. And I'm going to tell you what, I've heard people say you can only get good barbecue in the south. You'd never get good barbecue up in Canada. Well, guess what? I had some pretty darn good barbecue in Canada. Okay, so they're letting all the air drills run one by one, as you're going to see here. And they only got to go a little ways, and then they have to stop, and then the next day they'll do the same thing. It started raining out here, and I didn't know it at the time. I was wiping my camera lens off, but you're going to see a couple spots here where rain did hit it, and there's nothing I can do about it now. It's too late to go back and change it. so. I'm still going to use the video because that's the only chance you got to see it. So here you go, it's the best I can do. Excellent, so that uh, this is the machine that's been working out there. The proven concept for uh, canola growing areas across North America. And the SW has planted thousands of acres in recent years. So you can count on its ability to do the job. And of course, it's being pulled by a JCB fast track. The machine's ability to see it in field demo. Sorry for the raindrop, but I don't get to uh, redo this opportunity. I discovered this uh, a week later, it was too late. But anyways, we're still gonna go with it. It made for some pretty good trick photography. if anybody's ever put rain x on the lens of their gopro that might be worth a try um just thought about that that might even work snowmobiling when it's uh warm and the snow's kind of slushy i'm gonna give it a whirl Check this out, they sure cut it close, but looking up close, it does not look like they actually hit, but they were as close as you could get without hitting. even had sprayer riding drives. Unfortunately, the versatile sprayer was not here going by when I was here, and I never got a chance to go over and drive it. So, I'm gonna have to settle for a blue one for the video.
And they had these ditching demonstrations going on, which was pretty neat. Uh, I don't think I've ever been to a farm show where they demonstrated these. So that's a first for me. And the V-Wing blade here, uh, Manitoba built product. And I know these guys pretty good. The guy in the tractor's name is Jeff. Worked with him at a lot of farm shows and so forth. Uh, generally get them a tractor to unload their blade when it comes in, move it there to their display and back. But uh, anyways, it's unfortunately, it looks like we couldn't get them a versatile here. But anyways, this isn't my territory, so I have no control over that. Next year, Jeff, get you a versatile. And I'm going to head back to the home base here. So it rained just enough to make the mud or dirt stick to your boots, but that was about it. Not really enough that uh, you wanted to go inside or anything. But uh, anyways, show's ended. It was a great show, and I'm heading out. So we're going to head out to the muddy parking lot and wait in traffic. Anyways, uh, just a quick farm show video I did since it was my first farm show in Canada. Wanted to show you the Newton's Versatile Nemesis tractor, so I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for many more videos from Mike Les.